In software engineering, besides development models such as Scrum or Extreme Programming or Rational Unified Process, there are also different types of models and systems which describe how software processes happen. To avoid confusion, I'm going to go through some of the main types of software process models and especially software process improvement and assessment models which are not as straightforward guidelines for how to develop software but more or less a guide on how to develop the process that develops software so to get improvements on our software uh, projects. Basically the software process improvement means that we consider the software development and software projects as one pro uh, process which can be improved, optimized, documented and engineered. So basically, since we have an engineered process, we can improve things and we can optimize activities. Of course, this is somewhat vague area on some occasions because we are working with people and several other things besides just computers. But on the other hand, we are kind of following general guidelines, so it would be sensible to be able to assess how well we are doing our activities. So basically, in software process improvement models, we aim for process standardization and process measurement. There's uh, some quite well-known models which are available for assessment and uh, easily obtainable without consulting agency or just by looking at them on internet. For example, the Capability Maturity Model, CMM, and its more advanced version, Capability Maturity Model Integration, CMMI, are quite popular and usually the cornerstone of any other more modern or lightweight assessment models. On international standards, there's also the ISO IEC 15504, uh, software Process Improvement and Capability Determination Model, which is called SPICE, or SPICE model, uh, which is also fairly frequently used in software process assessment and looking for areas of improvement. Basically, in almost all uh, assessment models, we are dealing with uh, maturity levels. For example, in CMM, the levels are here. Uh, each area of project, be it uh, the requirements gathering or reviews or development work or quality assurance or anything else are assessed based on how well they are uh, done in the organization. Uh, in each area we are always doing the initial level. This means that we have no documentation or no a systematic way of doing things. The repeatable level means that we have documentation and we are actually able to convey the ideas of how to do software process or software development work to other people and defined, managed, optimized are always uh, going towards cost effectiveness and approach where we actually try to actively hunt down problems and get rid of them. Of course, the CMI, CMMI levels defined here aren't the only maturity model levels usable, but in almost every model the idea is somewhat the same. Uh, also, besides uh, process improvement models or strict process improvement models, there's also some uh, thinking gone into developing a basic activity models for example, like ISO IEC 29110, a life cycle model for small organizations. This model is something that is based on the best practices defined by international standards and on the other development process models we have been working with today and gives us a baseline on what we should be at least doing when we are developing software. 
The idea on the 29110 model is that we can define or teach these things relatively easily. I mean the model is uh, less than 200 pages or the core parts of it are less than 200 pages so it's fairly easy and lightweight enough to explain and define in places where there's no traditional or formal software engineering uh, schools like in, in uh, Indonesia, Indochina, uh, Africa or South America to get a baseline on and a sort of a documentation which would then enable these organizations to do work compatible with more established software developing countries for example like Northern Europe or Northern America. Uh, the idea in this model which on which we are only seeing the uh, management part on this slide is to define that you should have project repository you should be do ha should have plans uh, should have assessment and control, have some sort of project plan and generate acceptance records and so on and so on. So not only is this defining how the work should be done, it's defined on the software implementation layer which is below this management layer, but it's also telling uh, at the same time the basic functionalities of what we are doing in uh, when we are using uh, 29110 model for software development. Additionally, we also may have process improvement models which are not aimed towards the entire software project. For example, TPI, Test Process Improvement, TMMI, Test Maturity Model Integrated, and Testing Spice are models which are aimed towards uh, improving testing or quality assurance practices. On the five levels of TMMI, we are close to the thinking of CMMI. That's not actually a happy coincidence. The TMMI is based on CMMI for testing purposes. And it establishes the same sort of maturity levels to assess how well the company does uh, testing work, quality assurance, user testing, and so on. Of course, some of these models are purely commercial. For example, the test process improvement is owned and used by Soketi named company, which is a consultancy company developing models with, on which uh, other companies or their client companies can uh, enhance their performance. There's also uh, some ideas, or for example, like ISO IEC 33063, which uh, is an extension on software testing standard to give a baseline on how to improve testing work. But in any case, all the software process improvement models, uh, whereas e even if they are only aimed toward partial processes like quality assurance, they almost always are based on a few uh, simple facts. We have the entire process divided to number of activities like development work, testing work, documentation work, uh, teaching work and quality assurance and so on and maturity levels and on the assessment we try to find the matching uh, maturity level for each assessed part of the process or activity in the organization.